Beast Animal Show coming to you from the south of Palm Beach, Florida. Beast Warriors. Right now, we are going to be doing a unboxing for WWE uh, Slam Crate, basically. Now, this came in the mail today. Like, I already thought I canceled it, and I thought I wasn't getting more any more crates, but this just came in the mail today. So maybe, so I'm assuming this should be the final uh, WWE Slam Crate I'll be I'll be receiving. Um, I am canceling WWE Slam Crate because I think they suck. They the, the themes are garbage. They don't make it relevant. It's not relevant enough. It's not good enough, basically. So I canceled, basically. They got lazy with the boxes. Wrestle Crate got lazy too. So I'm done with Wrestle Crate. I'm done with Slam Crate. I am subscribing to that wrestling club. And I'm also subscribing to Pro Wrestling Crate. So I'll have two crates, which will be that wrestling club and pro wrestling crate and I can't wait to get those two crates in the mail basically so let's uh, get into the unboxing video and I'm glad I'm done with slam I'm happy I'm done with slam crate because they they blow basically I'm just gonna say you know it's very 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 delusional you know basically you know they put these random things in the box they don't change it up it's the same old shit basically you know you, you know what kind of shirt would be perfect? Why don't they put, like, an NXT... Can't they ever do, like, an NXT theme in Slam Crates? Like, what about freaking... Seriously, man. Like, come on, man. They don't do any good themes for these crates. There's no Cruiserweight uh, theme. There's no uh, theme for NXT in Slam Crates. It's like, come on, man. It, it's the same shit. Every time. Basically. What we're gonna do is let me get a sip of this monster real quick and then we'll get to the unboxing video and unbox um, delusional WWE Slam Crate, which I think sucks by the way. <clears throat> and for the people that have canceled their subscriptions with Slam Crate, I don't blame you at all because it sucks. I don't blame you. But let's unbox this Slam Crate and see what's inside. Hmm. Okay. We got a figure, and this is, uh. What the hell is this? Demon Finn Balor. Didn't they already have this in before in the crate? I don't know. But we got a Demon Finn Balor. Um. It's pretty cool, by the way. Um, yeah. And then right here we got, um, what is this, like a, uh, well, bumper stickers that says, you suck, what, delete, delete, give me a hell yeah, yes, yes, and all that stuff. That's, that's average. Okay, nothing special, basically. We got a championship pin, we got the UK championship, that's nice, pretty cool. Uh. Right here we got a, um, what is this, like a Slam Crate exclusive? We got, uh, in the back we got Seth Rollins. And then, uh, what we also got here. Basically, we got Finn Balor, which is basically, they explain like his outside life, you know. That's basically what it is. And then the poster we got, we got Naomi. Which is pretty cool, by the way. We got Naomi as a poster. You know... That's pretty nice, you know. Decent. Not bad. And then right here we got a, um... Looks like we got a hat right here. Or a scarf or whatever. So let's see what it is we got. Um... 
What is this, like a scar for like a mask or something? I don't fucking know. Why is it even at, I don't, I don't even get what, I can't, I can't even tell what this is, because it's like attached, like, let, let me see the uh, paper, what it, what it is, because I don't get why it's like attached like that. Looks like we got a ma Macho Man, Randy Savage, uh, beanie hat, and then a scarf. That's what it is, basically. That's, that's cool. This is all, that's cool. And then right here we got a t-shirt. We got a Glorious, the, uh, this one says, the Root effect even more glorious we got bobby rude man bobby rude and you know what you know what's glorious to me it's actually glorious that i'm canceling slam crate that's what's glorious to me because it sucks that's why and yeah like they they, they are so lazy when it comes to this type of shit it's the same bullshit like people are sick and tired of, of getting the same figures every damn month. People are getting sick of it. Seriously. People are getting sick of this, I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure that people are getting sick with the posters that are not even relevant at all. You know, like, the reason why I like Slam, the reason why I like that wrestling club better is because when they give you action figures, it's either a Funko Pop they change it up. You either get you either get a Funko one month, or the next month you'll get a, you'll get a Mattel action figure, or you'll get an Elite action figure. That's how it is, basically. But when it comes to Slam Crate, there this is their action figure, or that the the metal heavy figure, or whatever the fuck it's called. That's that's their way of action figures. WB Slam Crate. You want to if you want to have a great Slam Crate relevant, do you know how to do that? Put a freaking action figure from WB Shop. In one of the crate, in one of the slam crates, please at least put a relevant T-shirt in the crate. Don't be putting the T-shirt that's been out for, for like a month or something. Put you gotta go buy new. See, when you do these slam crates, you gotta put stuff in the crate that's basically new, not stuff that's been on the shop for like a couple months or a year. No, you gotta put things that happened recently in the crates. For example, you gotta put if you wanna put a T-shirt in. Put the new Johnny Gargano shirt. That's something new you put in the crate. For an action figure, you put in like a current star or a past star or whatever. You either put a Mattel action figure, you either put a Elite action figure, or you put a Funko Pop in. That's how you do your action figures, WWE Slam Crate. And then it's in, in, instead of instead of these. Why don't you why don't you put like a mini a mini belt in there, like a mini championship belt? Like, seriously, do something like that. That would make people happy. You know? Also, another thing is, how about you put a DVD in there? I'm pretty sure fans would want a DVD in their slam crate. Why don't you do something like that, basically? A DVD? Um... When, when, you, when you put, like, a freaking t-shirt in, you don't... You guys, you guys go buy shirts that's been out already. You gotta go buy new. You gotta put new stuff that just came out recently. That's how you get a slam crit across. You put new things in it, not things that have to do with the past. That doesn't make any sense. The only time it's understandable is when it comes to crates like Wrestle Crate, when it comes to that wrestling club, when it comes to Pro Wrestling Crate. That's understandable. But when it comes to WWE, from from actually WWE Shop, when this when it, when this crate comes from WWE Shop. You gotta go buy current, man. I'm pretty sure people would love a Braun Strowman, a new Braun Strowman t-shirt that just came out recently. I'm pretty sure somebody would love to get the Chris Jericho in here. Like, these crates went from a, a like a, a rec, a, what is it, a rectangle, all of a sudden it goes to a square box. How lazy of you, WWE. How lazy of you, basically. You know? People are getting sick of the same shit in the boxes. No wonder people are canceling this shit, man. Seriously. I'm happy I'm subscribing to that wrestling club. And I'm happy I'm also subscribing to Pro Wrestling Crate. Because there's so much better than what Slam Crate and, Re and Wrestle Crate is. Wrestle Crate's okay, but still. Not as good. But Slam Crate by Loot Crate sucks. I'm sorry, but Loot Crate's garbage. And I'm being dead honest with you here, man. I'm really being honest with you. This is really how they get a crit. Look at this shit. This is, this is how they really get a crate across this. A poster. 
Seriously. They don't make the posters right. There's no, they don't go by current posters. They don't have posters of Undisputed Era, posters of Braun Strowman, posters of Sanity, anything from NXT. Don't even put NXT in these crates, barely. When was the last time Slam Crates ever had an NXT, anything NXT in it? Seriously. Like, no Undisputed Era wristbands in any of the crates. No Undisputed Era shirt. Seriously, not even a Johnny Gargano shirt. Come on, man. Seriously, they, they don't even, they, they barely even put any Hardy Boys in these crates at all. Come on, man. They, they, they barely even put freaking, um, not even Cruiserweight stuff too in there. Come on, man. People are getting sick of the same shit every damn time, man. I'm dead serious with you. I ain't kissing ass here. Like other, like some of these other people do that just like the crate on how it is. No, if I, if I notice something that sucks about it, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to say it sucks. And I'm saying right now, and this is coming from me, Slam Crate sucks. That's a fact. It sucks. Seriously. By the way, you know, this is a pretty cool box, you know, but Slam Crate, it's been a long journey with you, man. And I won't be coming back anytime soon until you guys improve your um, your crates, basically. But for now, I will be subscribed to that wrestling club and pro wrestling crate. So, basically, yeah. And I'm going to say is thank you guys for watching this video. And thank you, Slam Crate, for giving, a sh giving me a shitty box. Which is a reason why I canceled, basically. Because it it's so lazy of how, how they how they came with it came with the shit yeah slam crate was great when it first started but then within months and months it just got garbage more garbage and garbage basically you know it's it's just sickening how, how this company really is it's sickening how what they give the fans this i can probably find all this stuff for like like freaking three dollars at freaking walmart or something man seriously man didn't you guys already put a finn balor figure in one of the boxes, because I do remember unboxing the Finn Balor one in this kind of stuff. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this unboxing video, and I'm the Beast Animal, and this is the Beast Animal Show, and i got to say thank you guys for watching. Too sweet. I come from my